It's about time I showed you how to make this 12 Days of Givemas project, and it's a really easy scrap wood clock that you can make at home with my free plans below. I start by cutting nine slices from an old fence post and then sanded them on my belt sander. Now I'll let you into a little secret. She doesn't know yet that she needed to cut thinner slices. I also found an offcut of nine millimeter plywood and I decided I want a square pattern with my slices with a centimeter gap all the way around and a centimeter overhang. So right now I'm drawing a grid to position the slices and find out where I need to cut it down to make it perfectly square. You don't need to wear that out because the plans will reflect that. But I do recommend you do this after you've spray painted it all black. So once I'd spray painted it, realised I couldn't really see my lines, I had to draw them again for good visibility and positioned and nailed my slices on. But not my centre one because I needed to do, drill a hole in the middle and I couldn't nail that one on because I needed to make it clear on the back for the clock mechanism. Then I lined it up with the marks and drilled straight through. I slotted the clock through from the back and drew around it where I needed a router. I'm using a straight bit and just routering a bit, checking it, and then routed some more. And even just with a millimetre wood left, I still found my clock screw didn't poke out enough. It's a good job I didn't glue these slices on because I had to take them off, recut them. It doesn't matter because it's a really cheap off-cut clock. And once I knew this was gonna work, I then glued. I nailed on some hardened steel so it would blunt the bottom of the nails at the back. To fix the mechanism in place, I slotted the hook on that comes with it and hot glued it in place. For the front centre slice, it comes with a rubber washer. When I put it on, it made my centre slice too wobbly, so I decided to ditch that completely. Hot glued the slice straight on, and the clock kit comes with the following. This is the order I had to put them on. I've got a washer, then screwed on the nut, then push the hour hand on, the minute hand, and the second hand. And they need to be pushed on well, so they don't just flop about. Now I can't stand a ticking clock sometimes, and this is nice and silent. Now you could leave it like this, but I plan to put some numbers on. So first I varnished all the slices and did the edges and the back, and that would take any roughness out. So when I went to use my Cricut Maker 3 to cut some vinyl numbers, it would stick better to the surface. I don't think it would look out of place in a man cave or a woman cave. And if you can't wait for tomorrow's project, then you need to click my playlist here for lots more woodworking gift ideas.